what's going on guys? In today's video, we are inshore fishing, trying some new tactics, catching a ton of fish. Stay tuned because we're going to deputize you because we need your help catching a tackle thief. Oh my god. Oh, that's something different. We don't catch those too often. What is that? That's a schoolmaster. A schoolmaster? That's a really cool, pretty uh, snapper. Gorgeous. How big they got to be, Sizzle? Um, I'm pretty sure it's much bigger. Beautiful fish. For our first fish of the day. Look how pretty. Super orange. Brian. I gotta stop throwing them. He didn't throw them. There he is again. His hands are so numb, he can't hold fish. All right, here we go. That's true. My legs are so stiff and my hands are numb, I'm freezing. Chummers, they're chummers. There's some nicer ones in there too. All right, just threw my 10 foot cast net. And even in these misty conditions, still found the bait. Even when we have like no sunlight, I saw a bird diving like right in this area and I wanted to go check it out. Had the net loaded, saw a couple little baits flipping on the surface. Oh yeah, there's baits flipping. See him? No, I believe you. And we got him. I gotta tell you guys, this freezing out here today. Brian's miserable. I am miserable. Hold on. I gotta stop my, my thing. Whew. Good job, Dar Sizzle. You're not having fun. It I is. like even called it at the boat ramp this morning. I'm like, oh boy. There's going to be no, not a soul there. What happened? <laughs> not a soul. You know what Putin says, when you go to the boat ramp and there's nobody there, it's either going to be a great day or a horrible day. <laughs> so far, it's kind of so-so a good day. We got bait. <laughs> got bait. But it's, uh, it's just wet and cold. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's still, still foggy. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's like nine. <laughs> this is not normal, guys, for Florida. We start with that. Whoa. Jeez. It's a monster. Well, that's a nice one. That is a keeper. Welcome aboard, buddy. Nice. Oh, that's a little 14 inch right there. Yeah. Tasty. You gotta watch these mangroves. They will bite you. <laughs> that's why they're called snappers. Yes. And you can see we're just using a jig. Your jig weight is appropriate for the depth and the current, of course. And we're just throwing a shrimp on there. Yeah. Snappers, because they snap, snap. I have really funny stories from my uh, dad being by being bit by one of these suckers and they don't let go. Yeah, so this is what Darcy grew up fishing for. And so she always has a story about her dad when we catch one. I'm still slacking over here. See what you got, Sizzle? It's a side hook snapper. He's literally like four inches big, but he got hooked in the belly. So he felt much bigger. <laughs> I was dragging him through. Came in like a two by four. What do you call that coming in like a two by four? It did. It did. He was swimming all weird and backwards and stuff. Oh well, that's what happens when you side hook a fish. It feels like really heavy. Where else have you caught some sheep's head around here? Right here? Yeah. From like basically here down, you've caught sheep's head. All right, we've transitioned to a different area. We weren't catching any quality fish in the river. So we came over here on, on this wall. Oftentimes there's jacks on there. Josh actually already caught a small jack. Gonna lighten down our jigs because the current's small. I'm taking this jig. I like color. What you got? Oh, I got a fish. I don't know. It's a cuda. Oh, nice job. Hopefully you can land them. Nice. Oh, he got side hooks. Did he? Whoa, he almost snapped at your leg there. I got my boots on. All right, guys, putting with a nice little barracuda. You can see that circle hook right in there. Very nice. Now, if you catch, if he caught this on a J hook, he might have swallowed it and you really could have lost that fish. And you see the hook just actually fell out. Now here in Florida, look at those teeth. Here in Florida, you have a regulations. They got new regulations on barracudas, so you really got to check these kind of things. And uh, this is, he's got to be 18 inches, and he's definitely over 18 inches, so we can, we're going to keep him. Barracudas are delicious. Darcy grew up eating barracuda in Miami, in Florida, and it's pretty common. They're good. Brian's the only one putting fish in the box today. I'm the only one putting fish in the box. So I caught a eating size fish actually. This is a checkered puffer fish. Also very poisonous, but their insides, a certain part of them is poisonous, so you just can't eat that or touch that for humans. Let's we'll see if I can get them to blow up. They usually blow up when they come on board, especially when you grab them. Yeah, there you go. The belly. He's filling himself with air. There you go. Keep filling up, keep filling up. <laughs> That's how you do it. I like it too. <laughs> okay, now he's here. 
<laughs> First time. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. Sizzle doesn't usually say that. Oh, that. I'm going to show you. Oh, that's what. He, he never says that. <laughs> <laughs> he popped. All right, so like right there. He's kind of doing it again, but they also need to get water. But anyhow, yeah, yeah. they're very, very delicious. They're like the chicken wings of the sea. They legit look like chicken wings when you uh, uh, eat them. So maybe I'll put them in the no, get rid box. Of them. Get rid of them? Yeah, maybe like 12 of them. Well, that's meal. why you gotta start with one. All right, buddy, take off. You gotta take his air out and then he'll swim down. There he goes. Cool. <laughs> A wide variety of fish today. I mean, nothing like too, too big, but we're catching fish and we're just working our way through different spots. We're at the uh, bridge now the Jensen Bridge, which is a popular area to catch fish. I just had a jack cruise through. And uh, we're just giving it our best effort. That's all about fishing, even though it's quite miserable out here now. <laughs> Feels like it's 50 degrees and my hands are frozen off. <laughs> Sizzle, you got me. I thought you were going to catch a fish there. I might. Yeah, you might. <laughs> you might. All right. But guys, as Darcy mentioned before in the beginning of the video, it's time to tell you guys what's up with this tackle thief. Yes. Now, the deal is at our favorite a uh, place to buy tackle here in the, the Snook Nook, which has been around literally for like a hundred years. It's the go-to spot in Stewart. People, Denton Beach. Oh, and it's in Denton Beach. I'm sorry. They're gonna, now they're going to strangle me. Like every time we go there to buy shrimp, I have to buy like a fishing pole or a rod or, or a reel or something. He's not but, lying. I'm not lying. But anyway, they've had a, a string of thefts recently. And so there's one guy um, or girl, I'm not even know. We're going to go over there. We're going to talk to the manager and he's going to give us the information and he's going to give us a video of the guy. And so I am here by deputizing you guys. We need your help. We got to identify this guy. We got to catch him. And we got to stop tackle thieves. I'm sure we all agree on this subject. Yeah. I mean, it's hard enough for tackle businesses these days. Like, don't steal from them. That's just not cool. And uh, anybody who does that is a POS, no matter what it is. But <laughs> that's true. Head and on over there. Yeah, it's like a family place. Crazy. They really help the community a lot, too. All the time. Here at the Snook Nook, and I'm here with the, the store manager, Alec, and we're here to get the lowdown too, so you guys know as well. But basically, Alec, tell us what went down. So we've got a gentleman that has been going around, apparently, thanks to your following, we're learning that he's been hitting a couple tackle shops up and down the coast, hit stealing reels, wow. stealing product from them. Uh, it's a real local, tight-knit community here, and we just want to promote stopping them and you know, just want everybody to be aware that, hey, he's out here, here he is. Let's take him down. So basically, we got to get his identity still, correct? Correct. And we also want to know what exactly did he steal? I know he stole a reel in that the one video that I saw, but what else did he take so from you So he wound up taking two Pen Slammer 6500s and one Pen Slammer 3500, um, all spooled up with braided line on them, ready to go. Um, so that's about it. And what was the value of that? Probably about $850, $900 with the line on wow. it all together. Basically a grand I mean, worth of Coming product. down to it, it's not all about the value of it. It's it's just the principle on it. I mean, we don't want to see this happening in our community and we got to look out for it. Right. Nobody likes the thief, guys. Nobody. And I know the tackle shop here, the Snook Nook Bait and Tackle, has been here for many decades and is a valuable asset to this community. So just give them a little background history. Like, when were they first here? Snook Nook's been around since 1949 here. We've been at, at this location here since about the 80s. It's actually the same location that it was in the 40s, but uh, new building, kind of. So we used to have it over here. There's a, you can't see it with the car in the way, but there's a block over there, the foundation of the original building here. We used to have gas. We got all the old pictures, and definitely was a heyday here. It was really cool to see. I wish I got to experience it. Really awesome. And to this very day, you know, anglers are still coming here, just like myself and my father did, to buy bait and tackle. So, you guys, we got to catch this guy. All right, guys, while we're there, we picked up a bunch of stuff. We support your local tackle shop, Woo! reels and hats. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so go find that guy. And until next time, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. And don't forget to watch this next video.